So, it's about time we give the AI a real challenge, another one. Forget ASCII art Tetris, forget Doodle Jump, and yes, forget Flappy Bird. I wanted to know if AI could take its talents to the third dimension and make a 3D game, but why not up the stakes? Let's see if AI can code in virtual reality. Can AI build the metaverse? So I asked ChatGPT to code Beat Saber, the greatest VR game in Unity, and this is what happened. Wow. ChatGPT provided a step-by-step -step guide to coding a Beat Saber-like game in Unity. Just like in previous videos, ChatGPT is going to write all the code and I'm just going to copy and paste. At this point, me and the AI are like LeBron and AD, Steph and Clay, Drake and 21 Savage. Together, we're killing the game. I should point out that I don't really know how to use Unity, so I'm counting on ChatGPT to help me become a Unity developer. Help me. Help me. Now I know you're all worried about AI taking your jobs, but this isn't the end of programmers. It's the beginning of a new era of developer productivity. Like John Carmack said, software is just a tool to help accomplish something for people. Many programmers never understood that. Keep your eyes on delivered value and don't overfocus on the specifics of the tool. So let's use AI to supercharge our development. Let's code with ChatGPT. Step one, set up the game environment. So I fired up Unity and created a new VR sample project which has the XR camera rig and controllers. We're targeting the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset using a recent version of Unity primarily developing on an Apple Silicon MacBook. To start I wanted to make some of the assets for the game so I jumped into Blender and rounded the corners on a couple of cube primitives. I added some emissive arrows to create our blue and red beat cubes. Then I modeled the lightsabers out of cylinders, also giving them an emissive material. I then exported the models to the FBX 3D format, brought them into my Unity project, I replaced the left and right default XR controllers with the lightsaber models, and now we're ready for action. In Unity I used primitive 3D shapes to build the platform that the beat cubes will travel on. I added some emissive beams to set the mood, some dust particles for ambiance, not quite beat saber, but still pretty neat. I might just call this neat saber. Now we're ready for the music. Step 2. Generate the beat maps. To start, I asked ChatGPT to generate code that can read a Beat Saber map file in JSON and extract the notes and information about time, color, direction, and the placement of beat cubes. Then I picked a good song and used an online Beat Saber map editor to create my own custom beat map. Not bad. Step 3. Spawn the cubes. I asked ChatGPT to create the cube spawner script. ChatGPT then generated the code for the cube spawner that reads the list of notes from the beatmap file. All cubes spawn at the same origin but then move towards the notes line index and layer index in the 3x4 grid of target positions. The cubes need to move forward and arrive at their target position on the right beat time. Each cube also needs to be the right color and the right orientation so ChatGPT provided the code to rotate the cube based on the cut direction in the note. This part was a bit tricky but with some debugging and back and forth we got it working pretty well. Step 4, Lightsaber Slicing ChatGPT came up with the idea of using a separate split cube asset for when the saber slices the cube. I hopped back into Blender and used the loop cut tool to split the cube asset in half. I filled the split halves of the cubes and added an emissive material so it looks nice when we split them. Once I brought in the split cubes into Unity, ChatGPT provided the code to animate the split of the cube by adding rigid body components to each half of the cube and applying forces in the opposite direction. ChatGPT provided the code to detect collisions between lightsaber and cube. At first it used rigid body physics, but that didn't work well and I complained to ChatGPT and it provided a solution using triggers. ChatGPT had a really hard time giving me working code for detecting the slice direction for the lightsaber and cube intersect. It kept telling me that the code was working, and it definitely didn't when I tried. Once I pointed out its mistakes, it eventually got to a workable solution where we take the dot product of the saber direction vector and the cube's cut direction vector and see if the lightsaber is cutting in the correct direction. We added a particle system to emit from the split cube and added a lightsaber cutting sound effect. We then combined the cut detection with the slice animation and we got our final result. Step 5. Scoring We used the UI canvas in Unity with TextMesh Pro to give us SDF fonts. ChatGPT says that the player scores 70 points for each cut cube, and there's a combo multiplier for up to 8x for keeping a consecutive cut streak going. If the player lets a cube pass without slicing it, the combo multiplier resets to 1. ChatGPT provided a score manager to update the score on the canvas overlay and we quickly had a working score going. Step 6, let's play.
Thanks for watching. Now, if anyone is interested in this ChatGPT Beat Saber Unity project, if enough people hit me in the comments asking for it, I'll see if I can make the project available. But make sure you like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Peace.